Good day, madam. My name is Jun Lim Jiaji from Group 3. This is our video presentation for our assignment 3. And our topic is Robust Waste Plastic, so-called ROWAP. First of all, I will be presenting introduction. In this part, I will brief over the background as well as what we've done overall in this project. There are four key points. First of all, the growing concern over plastic waste and its impact on the environment has prompted researchers and engineers to explore innovative solutions for recycling and repurposing plastic materials. Secondly, utilizing robust waste plastic composites such as polypropylene combined with sawdust and diapers for car bumpers offers a promising solution to the environmental impact of plastic waste while addressing the critical component needs of automotive design. Thirdly, the utilization of sawdust as reinforcement in the composite enhances the mechanical properties, increasing stiffness and structural integrity, while the inclusion of diapers with super absorbent polymer SAPS improves energy absorption properties, making the composite material highly suitable for resilient and impact resistant applications. Lastly, Repurposing waste plastic composite for car bumpers offers both environmental benefits and economic advantages, as the availability and lower cost of recycled material contribute to cost saving in manufacturing without compromising quality or performance. Next, there are four key points for the problem statement. First of all, waste plastic has become a pressing environmental concern in today's world. Second, plastic waste compromise 12% of solid waste globally, while the disposable of billions of diapers adds to the environmental burden. Thirdly, diapers are primarily made of plastic, comprising 25% to 35% of their weight. And lastly, recycling initiatives can now recover this polymer from diapers, allowing them to be repurposed into high-end products such as automobiles bumpers. So in short, in this project, we will be producing a bumper with composite material that combines polypropylene and polyethylene with waste diapers and sawdust. Along this project, we were also trying to find out the best ratio for this composite material so that we can produce a bumper with the best strength and also stiffness. Hi, my name is Anabatisha Teza. So today I'm going to explain about the creative problem solving. So the first step for this part, we need to identify the goal, wish or challenge, which known as objective finding. So the first objective here is to fabricate polypropylene and polyethylene filled with sawdust and use diapers using injection molding. The second one is to conduct tensile tests and mechanical analysis for dumbbell specimens. The last one is to run an optical microscopy examination of the dumbbell fracture surface morphology. The next step for creative problem solving is gather data or fact finding. So in this case, we use 5W and 2H. The first W is who, which MRSM student. The next one is what, uh, where fabricated polypropylene and polyethylene composite by incorporating sawdust and used diapers and perform mechanical analysis on specimen fracture surfaces of the composite at various compositions to evaluate their properties. The next one is when uh, we do this from 20 March 2023 to 31st of May. We, we done this experiment at the laboratory in University of Music on Malaysia by Raja Campus. Next one is why. We will study the surface fracture analysis of waste polypropylene and polyethylene filled with waste diapers and sawdust. The first H is how. We explore the methodology by fabricating polypropylene and polyethylene composite with different composition ratio using waste diapers, sawdust, and respective polymer, followed by conducting mechanical property tests to assess their behavior and suitable for injection molding application. The last one is how much. 
We measure and control the temperature and humidity level for the fillers and specimen during the fabrication process, including the injection molding process. Next, we will proceed with sketching the fishbone diagram based on fabricating polypropylene and polyethylene that fill with sawdust and use diapers. So, the six main cost category is material, machine, method, environmental, material, and also manpower. After we done with the fishbone diagram, we will continue with the step three that clarify the problem or known as problem finding. So, through the data gathering, the way to evaluate the fracture analysis and surface morphology of the PP and PE composite filled with waste diapers and sawdust. Now, we are in the step 4, which we generate ideas or we know as idea finding. So, in this part, we will find the countermeasure idea for each of the cost categories. So, for the measurement, the countermeasure that we can then is uh, ensuring the measurement device, selecting measurement device with a suitable range and solution, and the last one utilize appropriate statistical analysis technique or using the software tools to prevent the cost from happen. The next part, which the environment cost category, so the countermeasure that we have found is uh, a reliable temperature control mechanism such as heater. Other than that, we can also maintain a controlled and stable humidity. So, the next one is method. So, for method, we have found the countermeasure which includes steps such as collecting, sorting and sterilization uh, treatment. The next one is uh, make sure to involve established guideline or algorithm in making the statistic. And the last one is determining the optimal process parameter for each process that we then for the fabrication. For the machine cost category, the countermeasure ideas that we have found is calibrating the controller of the machine. The next one is the machine should have a suitable screw design and extrusion system. The last one, the machine should have an injection capacity that can accommodate the size of the product that we want to fabricate. The number five, which are materials. We found the countermeasure uh, which is essential to consider the fiber characteristic, characteristic sorry, and controlling and optimizing the particle size. The last one is proper temperature control. So for the last cost category, which is manpower, the countermeasure that we can then is provide the researcher with uh, in training. So now we proceed with the step 5 which is select and strengthen solution or known as solution finding. So in this part, we already have the cost category and also the countermeasure for every cost category. So after that, we will need to rate every countermeasure idea for every cost category by using three criteria which is uh, manpower, cost and effectiveness. After that, we will calculate the total amount. So for the first part which is the measurement, the countermeasure idea for the cost, we will rate this as 4. For the manpower, it's also the same and also with the effectiveness which is, is 4. So the total amount will be 12. Next is the environment. So the cost part for the countermeasure for environment we will rate is at 4 the same with the with the effectiveness also 4 but for the manpower we will rate it as 3 so the total amount will be 11 the next part is uh, the method so the countermeasure method countermeasure idea for method for the cost we will rate it as 3 but for the manpower and effectiveness we will rate it as 4 for both of them and the total mark will be 11 the next part is machine so the cost part for the countermeasure idea in this cost category for the cost part we will rate it as 4 and the same both for uh, effectiveness and also the manpower so the total mark will be 12 the next one is material so the Cost criteria for the countermeasure in material 
we will write is as as four. The same with the uh, manpower, we will also wait it as four. And the next part is the effectiveness. We will give it as three. So the total mark will be eleven. The last one will be the manpower. So for the countermeasure, we will read the cost for three marks and the manpower as four. The same as the effectiveness, which is is also four. So the total mark will be eleven two. So for the last step, which is plan for action or acceptance to finding, we will classify all the cost category into three goals, which is uh, immediate, short, and medium. So for the measurement uh, countermeasure, we put it inside the immediate goals, and we uh, it will be done by Emerson student within one week, and it will be reported to the teachers. So for the environment cost uh, countermeasure idea, we will put it onto the short goal. Uh, it also will be done by uh, MRSM student within one month, and it will report it to their teachers. The next part is the manpower. Manpower cost category also will be classified as the short goal, and it will be done by MRSM student within one month, and it will be reported to their teacher. The next one is. Uh, method countermeasure machine and materials all will be put inside the medium goals it will be done by a master student and will be done before 1 may 2023 it will be reported to their uh, teacher i will proceed with the next presenter so for idea description uh, the project aims uh, to develop uh, polypropylene and polyethylene uh, composites filled with waste diapers and sawdust using injection molding. Second, uh, the investigation focuses on fracture analysis and surface morphology of the composites, employing techniques such as uh, injection molding, tensile testing, and optical microscopy. The goal is to create a sustainable and cost-effective solution uh, that enhances the mechanical properties of plastic products while addressing environmental challenges. Uh, the process involves collecting, uh, treating and sterilizing waste diapers and sawdust uh, before mixing them with polypropylene and polyethylene uh, resins. The composite material is then fed into an uh, injection molding uh, machine which heats it to a molten surface and injects it into mold cavity. Uh, six advantages uh, of this approach including uh, promoting circular economic principles, reducing waste and pot potentially improving the overall sustainability of the fabricated products. And seven, the idea offers economic benefits uh, through reduced raw material costs and aligns with the demand for eco-friendly alternatives in the market. So for product development process, uh, this section it explains how polypropylene and polyethylene filled with sawdust and used diapers were developed as products. Uh, the process involved research, uh, generating ideas, selecting materials, testing and creating the final product. Uh, it provides a detailed description of the methodology, uh, experimental techniques, finding, analysis and discussion. So for metal pre preparation, for number one, grinding the filler. The matrix used in the research uh, was in pallet form meaning it was already in a small uniform sizes. The filler, or on the other hand, needed to be blended into the desired size. This process is important because it makes it easier to uh, mix the filler with the matrix palette during the injection molding process. Secondly, material mixture. The materials were manufactured uh, using an analytical scale Shimatsu TX423L by combining the matrix with the filler in the right composition ratio. Uh, the materials were combined till the total weight of the uh, concoction reached 200 grams. Number three is injection molding. Uh, for this study, dumbbell specimens were created using a horizontal injection molding machine, Nisei MP7 uh, Real Mini. For the parameter, we use injection pressure for 40%, injection speed for 40% also, injection time 6.5 uh, second, and cooling time which is 40 second. For number four is tensile test. Uh, the tensile test is the most commonly used mechanical testing method. 
it is used to determine uh, the strength of a material and how far it can be stretched using uh, before it's breaking. This method calculates the yield strength, uh, ultimate tensile strength, ductility, strain hardening properties, Young's modulus, and Poisson's ratio. We use Univolve testing machine, uh, which is also called UTM. And lastly, number five, uh, scanning electronic microscopy (SEM). Uh, a scanning electron microscope uh, uses an electron gun, uh, focusing lenses at the stage of specimen holder, and multiple detectors to scan the surface of a variety of material and collect data on the morphology and elemental composition of the sample. The electron gun get it, uh, gets its uh, electron from a tungsten heated metal filament inside uh, the device. For the result, after doing a lot of experiment and also comparing the result for each experiment, we found out that the optimal ratio is by adding 5% of waste diaper or sawdust to the polypropylene and the polyethylene. This result proves that instead of saving the earth by reducing the global waste while recycling the waste diaper and sawdust, we can also improve the mechanical properties of the polypropylene and polyethylene while adding the waste diaper and sawdust to it. But do mind that there is an optimal ratio. You need to control the ratio at 5% so that we can achieve the maximal, the best mechanical properties. Next, for the specification of our product, the car bumpers, these are the details of it. First of all, it's made of high density polyethylene or polypropylene materials, which is the composite material. And the dimension of it is 72 times 9.5 times 5.5 inches. The weight of it is 14 kgs. The testing background of it includes impact testing, durability testing, and environmental testing to assess their ability to withstand various conditions and impacts. For the environmental sustainability, by using recycled plastic materials, robust waste plastic bumpers contribute to reducing plastic waste and promoting a circular economy. For the impact resistant, robust waste plastic bumpers provide effective impact absorption, minimizing damage to the vehicle bodies and reducing the impact on the occupants. Next, I will be presenting the main components of the car bumpers. There are four main components. First of all is the outer shell. The outer shell of the bumper is the visible part that provides the aesthetic appearance. It is typically made of a plastic material and can be texture painted or finished to match the vehicle design. The second main component is the energy absorbing material. Inside the bumper, there is usually an energy absorbing material designed to absorb the impact forces during collisions. This material often made of foam or plastic help reduce the transfer of impact energy to the vehicle and its occupants. For the third component, it is the reinforcement beams. Bumpers may have reinforcement beams or bars embedded within them. These beams provide structural support and help distribute impact forces across the bumper, enhancing its strength and rigidity. The last component is the mounting brackets. Bumpers are attached to the vehicle frames or chassis using mounting brackets. That's all from me, and I'll pass it to my next teammate. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Martin. I would like to describe about the manufacturing process of a bumper. First of all, is designing the bumper using software such as SolidWorks to create the 3D model and simulate the bumper's performance. Next, the material is selected according to the functions of the parts. Then, the outer shell of the bumper is typically manufactured use, using an injection molding process. After that, from that, add as the energy absorbing material is inserted into the bumper. Then, install the reinforcement beam and mounting bracket to support the bumper. And finally, to complete uh, the complete bumper undergoes finishing process such as painting, tensioning, or applying a protective coating.
and implement quality control measures before installed to a car. Next, I would like to describe about the market and commercial potential of the robust wax plastic mat pumpers. First of all, it can provide offers cost advantage compared to the traditional materials such as metal. Wax plastic, when recycled and processed into bumper material, can be more affordable, making it an attractive option for manufacturers and consumers. Next, utilizing robust waste plastics in bumper production aligns with sustainability goals by reducing the demands for new plastic, diverting plastic waste from landfills, and promoting a circular economy. Next, the plastic bumpers, including those made from robust waste plastic, are generally lighter than metal and alternative. Then, the robust waste plastic provides greater design flexibility than metals, allowing for inno innovative and visually appearing bumpers designs that cater to evolving consumer performance. Then, the, there is a strong and consistent demand for automotive bumper globally, driven by factors such as vehicle production, accident repairs, and aftermarket sales. Next is about the finance of this bumper. In order to prepare a bumper made of robust soft plastics, some materials are required to collect and reprocess in the industries. First, the first table shows that the cost for each material, such as poly polypropylene, which is a 5,000 ringgit per meter ton, and polyethylene, which is 6,000 ringgit per metric ton. The main power the cost of the main power is around 1,500 ringgit per worker. And the following table shows the cost per unit bumper, which is fi just 500 ringgit per unit. <laughs> Next, I will describe the marketing plan of this bumper. First of all, we need to define the target market for the robust waste plastic bumpers. This could include automotive manufacturers, aftermarket suppliers or collision repair centers, understand their needs, preference, and purchasing behaviors to tailor the market efforts efficiency. Next, we need to determine the unique selling proportion for the bumpers by highlighting the ben benefits of using purpose waste plastic such as durability, impaired resistance, and environmental sustainability. Then, differentiate the products from competitors by emphasizing its eco-friendly qualities and cost effectiveness. Then, we need to develop a strong brand identity that aligns with the values of sustainability and in innovation. Create a compelling brand story that resonates with the target market. Position the robust waste plastic bumpers with a, as a high-quality, reliable, and eco-conscious alternative to tra traditional materials. And finally, we need to create visually appearance and in informative product which is to showcase the features and benefits of the robust web plastic bumper. This could include brochures, product videos, and in interactive online platforms. Highlight the unique properties of the materials and how it enhances the safety and performance of vehicles. And finally, I would like to describe about the conclusion of this project. The utilization of robust plastic with the polypropylene with sodas and diapers is a promising solution for car bumpers production. It addresses environmental concerns and offers material property advantages such as promotes circular economy and waste valorization, reducing plastic waste and environmental pollution, contributes to the resource conservation and sustainability, Potential for cost saving in manufacturing, recycled materials are less expensive than bridging plastics and offers a cost-effective alternative without comp compromising performance or quality. But, a further research and development are necessary to optimize the manufacturing process, ensure consistent material properties, and meet the required industrial standards for car members. And this so it is very important to conduct comprehensive testing and analysis to evaluate the composite materials long-term durability, weather resistance and compatibility with other automotive components. That's all for our goods. Thank you.